Dashboards are the stage to present your data story for yourself and others. With dashboards, you can highlight how multiple data insights relate to each other and tell a more meaningful story instead of relying on individual charts. They're designed to allow you the freedom to structure, arrange, and visualize your Domo content in the way that works best for you. After creating cards in Domo, the next step is to create a dashboard to display those cards in. To begin, click the Add to Domo button and select Dashboard. A modal will appear allowing us to name this new dashboard. After naming the dashboard and clicking Save, we're brought to the Edit view of the new dashboard. To edit an existing dashboard, click the wrench icon and select Edit Dashboard. From the Edit view, we're able to start adding content to our dashboard by clicking and dragging the type of content that we want to add from the right-hand side of the screen. We can add headers, pre-built layouts, cards, images, text boxes, apps, and borders. Let's start by adding a pre-built layout to our dashboard. Layouts provide a blueprint of how the cards will be arranged on the dashboard allowing for quick placement of multiple cards at once. Here, we can navigate to see the most popular layouts, all templates, or layouts based on use case. Selecting one will populate the dashboard with frames that we can fill with cards. We can adjust our layout, resizing the frames by dragging the borders and removing spaces that we don't want. Clicking Add Content, we can add an existing card to the space by searching for the card and selecting it from the list. Alternatively, we can choose to create a new card, saving our progress in Opening Analyzer, or assign someone to build a card for us. If we don't want to use a card, we can switch the content over to a text box, an image, or we can insert apps straight from the App Store. In this example, we'll select Text, and then we'll use the formatting options to create a section title. When adding additional content to our dashboard, the borders of our existing content will highlight where it will be added when we release the mouse button. For example, we can divide up the space taken by this card, or I can place it below both of these cards to create a new section title. Certain content such as headers and borders always take up the entire width of the dashboard. When that's the case, any borders that don't span the entire dashboard will disappear. Adding an image opens up the system dialog allowing us to select a file on our local machine. And adding text creates a new notebook card with versatile formatting options that can be used to create section titles, descriptions, or anything else we need to better tell our story. Adding an app opens a modal where we can search for the app that we want and add it without having to leave the dashboard editor and open the App Store. Clicking Edit Content, there are a number of options available. If we want to make changes to the card itself, we can edit the card, leaving the dashboard editor, edit the title and description, choose a different card, or remove the card entirely. Under Display Settings, we can toggle whether to display the title, time frame, summary number, the chart itself, and the Card Options button. Clicking Change Background lets us select a solid colored background or set the card to be transparent. If we require further customization, we can input a hex code to fine tune our color selection. We also have the option to change what happens when a user interacts with the card. By default, it will link to the card details, but we can configure it to drill in place, link to anything inside of Domo or to an external web page, or disable card interactions entirely. Finally, we can set filter exceptions, preventing certain cards from being affected by filters. Under Options, we can change our dashboard's background, choosing between a color fill and image fill. We can set our dashboard's display mode to either be fixed width or auto width, and we can preview where page breaks will be included when exporting the dashboard. When previewing page breaks, if our content needs to be adjusted to not be cut off, we will see this message. We can use the guides to fine tune our dashboard if this is the delivery method that we have in mind. Once we've created our dashboard, we can preview what it will look like for a mobile audience from this dropdown. We can rearrange and resize cards to better fit the mobile format, and even hide cards completely from the mobile view, allowing us to fine tune the mobile experience of the dashboard. When we're happy with our dashboard, we can save our changes by clicking the Save button here. We're always able to edit our dashboard again if we want to make additional changes. Easily tell your data story 
providing answers to your business questions with the customizability of Domo's dashboards.